be uh, something that is, you know, between a male and a female. It can just be between a male and a, and a television or a male and a computer. It could be between two females. But sin will separate your relationship with God. Why? Because God is holy and he cannot have anything to do with darkness. Uh, realize that sexual immorality, and I said in quotation marks that this is the most probable occurrence in my history of working with people, which has been since I was 14 at least, and now I'm 49. Do the math. The most probable of occurrence of the breakdown in relationship with God, my most probable occurrence with people's lives has been in sexual immorality. What am I saying? That the majority of the times when I see one of you dear hearts get cold in God and start acting funny and you look, look away and you're running away and you're trying your best to cover it up, but I'm so sorry. Sometimes when you walk through the door, the way God shows me stuff is I just see your face. It's like, oh, got a problem there. So-and-so's got a problem. Or God will give me a dream, and I will dream about you, and you will be doing what you shouldn't be doing. <laughs> or uh, something will happen, and he will reveal it to me in pastor. Has happened with couples that have fallen into sin. Has happened with singles. The most probable occurrence, the most likely thing behind most problems is sexual immorality. And when someone's character changes and does a 90% change, one week you're just so good and then the next week, wow, we can't see you, dropped off the face of the earth, you're not answering pages, I mean, you're not answering your, your SMSs, you're not showing up for things, you're not this, usually... I already know it's a sexual immorality problem because that's usually what changes your character faster than anything, all right? Next slide. Desire to be pure so you can be a pure vessel in the presence of a holy God so you can have a more intimate relationship. You have to desire that. You have to say, God, I want to be more intimate with you, and to be more intimate with you, I have to stay pure. If you don't do that before you start a relationship, you will have a problem. Develop character qualities of sacrifice, requirements to have a Christ-centered marriage. What does that mean? It means that the true character of a Christian is to be able to have qualities of sacrifice and to give yourself in servanthood to one another. And why do I say that that's a basic of marriage? Because when you get married you're going to have to give in to somebody. The guy will have to serve the girl, and the girl will have to serve the guy. If you do not do that, your marriage will not last. Because I told you already, you're not marrying someone's perfect, who's perfect. They will have problem areas. And if you only focus on the problem areas, you will kill each other, or you will spend all your time screaming and yelling at each other. Because that is life. So you focus now on qualities of sacrifice, learning to give in your ministry, learning to serve in your ministry, learning to do things in ministry that will develop a quality that you learn to love and to sacrifice for others as Christ was sacrificing for the church. If you do that, you start developing a quality that when you marry this per person, you can stand him when you find out he's not perfect. And when he is lousy at this, you can say, it's all right. I love you, and I will sacrifice, even though I've said this ten times, and you still don't put the toilet lid up or down, whatever it is they're supposed to do, and you still don't put the dishes where you, never mind, I still love you, I will sacrifice because I'm going to make this work. I'm going to show a servant spirit, okay? So you start that before. Begin courtship from the starting point of a ministry, Next slide. Keep your focus on your relationship with God and not on your performance. So when you are dating somebody, don't worry if you're perfect. Don't worry that you do everything right. Keep your focus on God instead of trying to be perfect, all right? Turn to your handout, courtship process. We're going to go down through in the next few minutes before I let you go some of the process of uh, courtship, phase one and phase two. 
We'll see if we can get through phase one and phase two, and then we'll take up next week. We have to get our foundation right, and we're trying to talk about foundation things. In your life, there's many foundations, right? You have childhood. You learn. You learn to walk, you know. Then you have your teen years. And in your teen years, your primary years, things you learn at school and how you start learning to be a little bit more independent of mommy and, you know, you could do things on your own. And then after your teen years, maybe you get into your college years and maybe your university, whichever way you go. And once you finish your school, then you're here and you start thinking about your career years. And then after you get your career going, you think, well, I think I'm ready for marriage. And then after marriage and your career, then you're, you know, usually people get down to here and they get to retirement. And then you die. It's kind of like that. Oh, so wait, well, let, let's, put, let's put marriage. And, of course, you know children. We'll put children in there, okay? Okay. This is the life. This is our life, okay? This is our life. La, da, 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 da. Okay? And life goes from, you know, it's like a straight line, okay? Right here, you are born. Okay? You born. We're so happy. There you are. Wah! Okay? You came. You're so adorable. This is Sister Faith now at the hospital. Wah! A Waikion coming out, okay? So, um... This is the, the life as you progress, okay, in your life, all right? So as you progress in life, it's quite normal that this is the way things will probably go. I mean, there could be some other, is there any other things you can think in there? You have your career, you get married, you have children, you retire. Yeah, retirement grandkids are going to come in there, you know, that's still under family, grandchildren. Do grandchildren come before retirement or after? Either way. We'll say retirement. We'll put it either way, according to who you are. If you're old like me, it'll be retirement first. It's according to how old you are when you got married, all right? So this is the normal way. Now, what would happen? These are life choices because we're talking about laying our foundation for, for getting married, all right? So what happens if this is a normal flow for, let's say, a successful... And hopefully, let's put in front of it that we sought God first. So we're going to say a significant, successful life. Okay? So this is the order you would go for a significant, successful life. However, you think I'm really old-fashioned, old lady. We take that off. Nah, we don't want to go this way. Instead, I'm going to change the order around here. And I'm going to throw in um, children. I'm going to take children. And I'm going to move children to here. I'm going to move. Some people make this choice. I've decided I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to date anybody I want to date because you are just cuckoo. <laughs> And, uh, and I think you are very old-fashioned, so I will start dating. So you start dating with anybody, you know, that seems to be a good, good, good choice. And in the process of the good choice, you do get intimate because I am human. So I get intimate. And in this intimacy, somehow this happened. I don't know if there was a hole in the condom. I don't know if my birth control pills my mother offered to buy me because she knew I was quite sexually active. Somehow it didn't work. Ah. Wah! Comes the baby. So I have children. So now I have childhood, teen years, college years, and children. Okay, this person, this is person, we'll say person A. Person A can go on with their life. They can. But do you think it will be an easy life? Easy or more difficult? Should be more difficult. I mean, even if you are not even a moral, moral based person, anybody looking at this picture would say A is going to be more difficult because now you're trying to balance a life and 